After two plus years of COVID-19, many businesses have been yearning for a return to normal, which for some businesses includes requesting for their staff to return to working from the office. However, some employees have exhibited a sense of entitlement to working from home. And today we wanted to share with you a client situation that we're asked to provide advice for with the hope that it may help if your business is faced with a similar situation. Of course, if you're faced with employees that are refusing to return to the office or any other HR workplace relations challenge, you can always take advantage of our free HR slash WR consultation and strategic action plan that you can learn more about by visiting ondemandhr.com.au forward slash advice. Now back to the case study. The employee was a receptionist for an accounting firm who had been working from home and subsequently asked to return to the office. The employee refused this request saying that she shouldn't have to as the majority of the other staff who were the accountants were still working from home. Now our client was shocked as a major part of the receptionist's role is meeting and greeting their customers which cannot be carried out from home. Further, the business had continued to engage the receptionist throughout the pandemic, despite not being sure exactly what work was being carried out from home. Ultimately, the employee's refusal to return to the office triggered our client to review their processes, and it was determined that the receptionist's role was no longer required, and the position was made redundant following a compliant process. Now, of course, if the receptionist position was still required for the business, this would have added some further complexity to the situation. In this case, the likely outcome would have been a performance management process, as in our view, the employee was refusing a reasonable and lawful directive of being asked to return to the office. Overall, in our view, in the current environment, if an employee's job duties have a physical component, such as meeting and greeting clients, we think that it is reasonable for employers to direct them to return to the office should they wish. However, we also caution that this is not just a blanket rule and to be considered reasonable, the employer would need to consider the circumstances and duties of each individual employee. So again, if your business would like some assistance in directing employees to return to the office, or you're facing another HR or workplace relations challenge, to schedule a free consultation supported by a written strategic action plan, please reach out to us by visiting ondemandhr.com.au forward slash advice. My name's Andrew Kalita. I'm the Operations Manager of On Demand HR, and we're very much looking forward to seeing you all in the next update.